Hey guys, it's Amanda. What's up? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I am so excited to go thrifting. I genuinely cannot contain my excitement. I have not been thrifting in almost two weeks, which is actually insane because since coming back to Toronto, I feel like I've gone at least once a week, if not more than that. I just have not had a moment to go, but today I'm ready to spend three hours minimum in Value Village. I'm not looking for anything in specific. My last friend thrifted me, I was kind of on the lookout for my Halloween costume, which I actually ended up finding, but I didn't include it in a video. I went to Value Village on I think the 29th of October, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go in quickly, see if there's anything that aligns with my costume. I was Cruella de Vil, by the way, I'll insert some photos, and I go in, and sure enough, the most perfect Cruella de Vil dress is just on the rack in my size. The way that I find every single thing I need, or think I need, in Value Village is getting a little bit weird. The Cruella de Vil dress was a lot, because as you can see, it is exactly, like, you would buy a Cruella de Vil costume and that dress would come in it. Also, the entire month leading up to Halloween, there's obviously a Halloween section, and Value Village is just way busier with people that wouldn't normally be thrifting because they're trying to find their Halloween costume. So, every time that I've gone thrifting, it's been so overwhelming because it's so busy, and it's a little bit much for me when filming, because you guys know, I pull up and I really film everything. So I'm excited to go today on a random Thursday. I feel like it's gonna be very chill and I'm ready to just get comfortable in Value Village. I literally feel like it's my second home. Okay, anyways, but before we get into the come thrift with me, I wanna thank Caseify for sponsoring today's video. Caseify is the most popular tech brand and known for their protective cases and collaborations with artists on all of their designs. There's over 2,000 different prints on their website, okay? But I'm gonna be showing you the ones that I picked out. Maybe it can narrow down your search because there's a lot. Casefy is having their biggest sale of the year, their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. So if you've been wanting to get a protective case for your phone, which is always a good idea, right now is the perfect time. If you've recently upgraded and you have the iPhone 14, they also have cases for that already available. This is the first case I picked, which is a matte black case with stars, and it's one of the hard ones. I love that these stars are very low key. They just glimmer at the right angle. This case is so adorable. It has these little pandas sitting and laying down, and I customized this case so that the bumper is a glossy black. Since my phone is black, it just gives the same effect as it being all clear, but I don't have to worry about the bumper turning yellow, which is always a concern when you have a clear case. And then I have this one, which is this hot pink and orange abstract design. And then I attach this phone charm, which I think looks so cute with the pink. It's very summer, vibrant. And then I picked up these three, so this cowboy and horseshoe one, and then this like trippy dark and light blue, and then this butterfly galaxy one. And then I got this phone rope. It comes with this little tab, and then the rope actually just connects, it hooks on, just stays in and allows you to carry it in any way. Both of these accessories are great for on the go. During this sale, you're gonna get the best protection for the best price, it provides protection up to eight feet, and you can drop case of five cases 109 times without issues. Their cases are also made from some recycled materials, so this one says on the side. I will leave the link below so you guys can shop the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. Also, I have a 15% off coupon, which I'll put on the screen and leave down below for you guys. So I'm gonna do a drop test, and I can't lie, I'm actually scared for this because I've never had a protective phone case on my phone like this. So anytime I drop my phone, it's not a very chill occurrence. I'm gonna show you, my phone is in perfect condition, okay? pristine, everything on 10. I'm really just gonna stand here and drop my phone onto the ground to show you that it does not shatter. I'm so scared. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my God, like, bro, imagine. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, <laughs> it's perfect. That, I'm not trying to do that again, okay? I wanna show you guys my outfit quickly just before I leave. I'm wearing the jacket that I just got in my last video. I got this from 217 Vintage. I'm obsessed with it. The fact that I even contemplated getting it is just insane to me because since getting it, I've worn it borderline every single day. Same with this Miu Miu purse that I thrifted in one of my recent Come Thrift With Me's. This has also been a go-to. And then I'm wearing this little mango baby tee, which I thrifted, honest to God, maybe four years ago, and I just always kept it in my wardrobe. And it's low-key so cute. Like, I'm so glad I've never gotten rid of it. I thrifted these pants the last time that I went thrifting. I actually didn't film a whole come thrift with me because it was one of those where I was just running into the thrift store, like, 
really quick and then saw these on the rack and they actually fit me perfectly. They're by the brand Seduction and they were brand new. And then I'm wearing my Uggs, which it's getting embarrassing. Like these are the only shoes I wear um, for obvious reasons. It's literally November 10th today and it's 18 degrees out. So that's a little bit insane. I'm probably gonna dive heat in this outfit, but here we go. And then I'm doing my black star case by case. This one, I feel like just integrates with my style so perfectly. That's that, let's go, because it's now, what time? 1.04. I need to let you guys know that I'm not feeling 100%. I'm definitely getting sick. So I'm currently sipping some tea as I record this voiceover. This just happens to be probably my most massive come through with me that requires the longest voiceover possible. So we're gonna get comfortable. We're gonna chat about all of my finds as I always do. I can confidently say I start every thrift trip in the jean section or the pants section. It's the easiest to go through and I feel like the first section really sets the stage for how your thrift trip is gonna go. So finding these garage low rise jeans, even though I honestly don't need them, made me realize, bitch, that somebody is donating vintage garage. Therefore, I'm excited to look in every other section. And then I found these low rise black pants. I'm honestly gonna stop saying low rise because just know I'm only picking them up if they're low rise. But the fabric of these pants was really thick, which is what drew me in, along with the seams on the front and the back. It's the way that this is probably the third time I've come across, I think this exact Michael Kors jean. It's always a white jean and it's always skinny. So this is a new, like, I don't even know a segment in these videos because I never check out the belt section. But this fat farm belt, can you imagine if I left the thrift store without seeing and purchasing this belt? I wore it last night and I am obsessed with it. This nude belt, oh my God. First of all, the colors, obviously everything for me, it will integrate into any outfit I wear. And I've never seen a belt like this that does up by kind of like folding over. This was a really cool silver cow <laughs> I added it to the car in the moment. I wasn't really sure how I felt about it. And then I saw this Parasuco belt, but the teal blue beads are definitely not for me. So it's still on the rack. Let us move on to the skirt section. I just had to film this to let you guys in on my vision of this being a micro mini skirt. I love filming things and just saying like how I would change it in order to buy it. Like it's not actually on the rack, but if it was. And then I saw these two denim maxi skirts side by side. I'm into it. Like I will get a denim maxi skirt if I find one that fits me. I've never had one. This is the first find that my jaw literally hit the floor. This is a vintage Adidas jacket from the 80s. I looked it up while I was in the store. I saw one that was listed for over $180 in a navy colorway. So just imagine this white and red. Not that I'm ever selling this. Like it is the most perfect jacket. When you see me try it on, the way that it fits is just so flattering, beautiful. You will hear me go off about it during the haul portion of this video. These Puma shoes, the condition is honestly amazing. I feel like these weren't really worn. I obviously added them to the cart, like, are you joking? They remind me a lot of the Jordan 11 watermelons, I think. These shoes were mini, I did not get them. They were cute. I always show the shoes because it's a really quick one too. We checked out the light jacket section and I found quite a few. Again, I am very keen to pick up whatever catches my eye and then figure it out later. Definitely figured out this was not it. So this Le Chateau drew me in because of the suede and the worn out feel. The color was really nice. With browns, it's really hard to get the perfect tone. It's either too warm and borderline orange, which you will see me pick up right now. This guest jacket, I could actually vomit. The reason I filmed this was because of the huge band, which you guys have heard me say that sentence so many times. I love when jackets or shirts or sweaters have really thick bands. I thought this plaid denim jacket was cool just because of the very low key plaid. This was kind of a almost shimmery gray trench. The details on it were very cute. I don't know, I'm not dying over this. I filmed it, okay? Sometimes I don't have that much to say about a piece. It caught my eye, I wanted to share it. It didn't even make it in the cart. This was cute because of the cargo style. I love the little pockets on the chest and I also liked how it was a short jacket.
The activewear pants section is one of my favorites to look through. I haven't found juicy pants ever. I don't think I've ever found juicy pants at the thrift store. And I've really been wanting a gray juicy tracksuit. Like if I were to get a juicy tracksuit, it would be either a full gray one or full maroon. Maroon number one. I wasn't crazy about the gold and silver. They're also a size extra large. We'll unpack those a little bit more later. More vintage garage. This was definitely donated by the same person. These were ugly other than the color. Okay, these I was like, mm, you know, but then as I was filming them, I saw they were by the brand Bum, which honestly has really good quality and just cute athletic clothing. So I ended up adding them to the cart, but that waistband is tiny. Like these are an extra small and it was not giving stretchy. So I didn't end up buying them, but the details were really nice and amazing quality. This is so cute. This is originally from Aerie. Like, please imagine if we could go into Aerie tomorrow and buy this. It's been a while since I've gotten a bra from Value Village. It's kind of rare. It has to be amazing. It just reminded me of Belle. And if I wanted to be Belle for Halloween, like, okay, this is where shit gets real. Like, please buckle up. So I found this Exco girl puffer. The fur is dead. It's not that cute. Even the black is kind of faded, like whatever. But let it foreshadow this insane find that I'm about to show you. Not me skipping over this leather trench with a fur collar because it's irrelevant compared to this Rockaware puffer that is literally on my eBay watch list and I was about to purchase less than a week ago in fucking pristine condition. Like, I'm sorry, I have to swear about this. I didn't even know what to do. After finding this, I was immediately like, hey, I need to exit this store. I couldn't look at anything else other than the amazing jackets I'm about to show you because I found more amazing jackets, but just take a minute. And I'm not lying when I say I have five of these on eBay saved, ready to be purchased. And now this denier leather jacket down filled white. This is just the ultimate ski jacket with my white humongous earmuffs. Like you're joking. This jacket is almost a joke compared to the ones I just showed you, but it's just a white little mini puffer. The fur is awful and it's really shitty when, you know, jackets don't have the removable hood or removable fur because it just makes the jacket be unwearable, to be honest, after the fur turns like that. I found this 0 .0 leather moto jacket. This is like a controversial piece for me. I don't even want it. Like I'm getting emotional talking about it because I basically posted an Instagram story wearing it being like, the way I didn't buy this jacket and every single person that followed me swiped up and said what is wrong with you but it's because i don't want to spoil it because you will hear my full thought process when i'm trying these on but yeah just know that jacket really fit me well and then quickly we went to the lingerie section i found this brown slip honestly not ever purchasing and oh my god these little boys diesel robes i was tempted okay but obviously <laughs> they would not fit me but can you imagine having little twin boys and putting them in these diesel robes? Kind of gives eye exam though. And then I checked out, honestly, my last, I didn't even touch the sweater section in this video, which is so funny. After I found that rock jacket, I was too overwhelmed. But I checked out the t-shirts, I don't know why, because um, all I found was this one that said, not your gift with a ribbon on the back, sir. That's why I never check out the section. Just kidding, but t-shirts are kind of my last priority. It's really rare to find something. I took my cart over to a mirror and literally needed a minute to just take in my reality because it was hard to, it was hard to. <laughs> the first thing I tried on goes without saying, oh my God. Also the hot pink lining was the best treat. I didn't even realize that until I started trying it on. So I tried on the Rockwear puffer. You already know it's amazing. It's exactly what I've been wanting. The way I filmed that guest jacket just to talk about how I want a puffer with a thick band and then I found this is insane. The pom-poms are really what sent it over the edge for me. And the fact that the fur is in perfect condition, it's like nobody ever has worn this except for me. It was waiting for me on the rack and I actually couldn't believe it. Like, yo, <laughs> oh my God, I'm just watching me try it on and like feeling the same excitement as I was 
when I was trying it on, like I cannot wait to step out in this jacket. Okay, I was only trying this jacket on to share it with you because I don't need this jacket. I have a lot of winter jackets, okay? But I put it on and I'm like, wait, can I actually leave without buying this jacket? It's real white leather and it's filled with down. So it's warm, it fits me so perfectly, it's so comfortable. I could wear a sweater under it easily and not be restricted. Then we tried on this point zero jacket, the one that I, I have to say, I did not purchase. And I've made peace with it, but the color was a little bit like too warm for me. Like this is what I'm talking about when I say the tone of the brown is so important, obviously, like so crucial to whether the piece is a vibe or not. And I mean, this is, obviously it's still cute, but I think it's giving a little bit of a false perfection because I'm pairing it with like the most perfect brown toned outfit. Do you know what I mean? But it's like, realistically, I can't imagine myself wearing this tone of brown jacket with many other things. Okay, then we tried on the Adidas track jacket, which blew me away. Like, you're actually joking. It fit me so perfectly. One of the zippers is broken, but that's honestly irrelevant. Like, I don't care. The collar is just so stunning. All the details about this jacket are amazing. I just got a white and red track jacket, but I didn't even question whether I was buying this. This was $7.99. I didn't even film me picking this up, but this is one of my favorite finds. This Columbia fleece in perfect condition. The slate gray color is everything. Just when I was kind of like, do I really need this? I noticed that it had a drawstring on the hem so you can obviously cinch it in and this with any of my knee length skirts bro or any low-rise pair of pants it's happening this jacket again irrelevant compared to the other things i found like sometimes when you don't find great things you know you're more tempted to get things that aren't perfect but that was not the case for this trip this jacket immediate no didn't like anything about it immediate no the band is amazing it's almost half the jacket like i kind of wish the rock over puffer had a band this thick but the color is honestly horrendous like i have to say i absolutely hate it i definitely realized filming this that the waistband would never fit me like these are tiny i didn't get these juicy pants guys like i just feel like i have way more flattering and better gray sweatpants i'm not here for the gold that much they were giving me a weird vibe, okay? I didn't get them. These pants, too small. I honestly don't even know why I put them in the cart because these were never gonna fit me. If I decide I'm actually gonna be serious about reselling, I'll start picking up things like this, like really nice low-rise jeans. But I honestly own a pair of jeans in this exact wash. The belts were crazy. This Fat Farm belt was not even a question. Obsessed, as I said, I've already worn it and I just don't have any belts, so I'm so excited to be able to integrate belts into my looks. I love the closure of this belt, the way that it folds over, it just has so many elements to it. This cow one was not everything. I was gonna buy three belts, okay, and I didn't need this one. Loki, like, really sad that these did not fit me. I thought they would. They were in the size eight section, but they were a size six. This is where I was really, really debating this jacket because I was wanting it, obviously, but knew I did not need it. So I was checking it out in extreme detail, and that's when I saw that it was down filled. I put all of my yeses on the rock along with the two jackets that I was debating and I decided that I was gonna go with the denier white leather one and leave the brown one behind. I really genuinely, honestly did not need to buy three jackets, okay? I just got home, we're on 10% battery right now, but I need to do a debrief and do a haul for you guys because honest to God, this comfort with me is in line with the one where I got my Miu Miu purse. Okay, like obviously this thrift find will never be topped. Okay, it's a Miu Miu bag. I will talk about it in every video and it is my entire personality. And I almost feel I need to tell every single person in Value Village that I thrifted this 
there. But anyway, that's besides the point. I literally, like when I tell you the Rockaware puffer that I thrifted is on my eBay watch list in every color that it's available, I'm not joking. The hot pink lining, like at that point, I almost, I actually almost did black out. After getting this was when I was like, okay, I'm trying things on because I don't know how to explain it, but when I'm thrifting, I almost, like I get so stressed out when I'm finding good things, like numerous good things that I almost don't like it. It's more because I'm filming for you guys and I'm like, holy shit, like I'm here, I'm filming, I'm finding all these things, like mentally I'm getting so impacted by like this on the rack and then I have to like keep my cool and just be like, okay. And now I feel like I can just explode and tell you everything. So anyway, I'm not sure if that really makes any sense, but can you imagine finding this on the rack? Because I actually, I almost can't. Like the fact that I own this Rockaware puffer right now, are you joking? And it's in perfect condition. This is the exact colorway that I would have bought. I don't have a black puffer. The band, like you already know, I've talked about it in numerous come through to me is how I'm so here for this. And like, I don't even have to say anything. The back, I think this might be real fur because like the pom-poms. When I was walking home, I was just imagining if I had found this and it only had one pom-pom, I may have not gotten it. Like that's how important these are to this entire jacket, okay? So goes without saying, this is like almost on par with the Mimi find, okay? And this was $24.99. On eBay, they're like $100 plus. And then obviously ordering it from the US to Canada is like a joke. This denier leather jacket is what I mean where I'm like, this stresses me out. I don't need this in my wardrobe. Somebody commented on one of my recent come through to me's. It's so annoying when you say you don't need da 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 da. Like bro, I don't need anything. I have all the clothes I need. And this is not a wardrobe necessity. This is a leather ski looking jacket, you know? Like I don't need this, sorry to say. But I wanted it. And I didn't expect it to look as good as it honestly does. Like I saw it on the rack and I was like, okay, whatever, I'll film it for you guys. And that's honestly what happens normally. I'll pick something up because I obviously want to share it with you. And I think it's easier for me to not get things knowing that I've like documented it and shown you. And I'm like, okay, you guys can appreciate it. I don't need to own it. So that was kind of what this was, you know? That was the intention with this item. But then I put it on and I was like, wait, <laughs> I actually feel like I'm gonna get harassed if I post this come through with me and don't purchase this coat because it honestly fits so well. I really don't like this. Like it's giving, I don't even know what, braid almost. I should have brought my white earmuffs just for this try on. Um, and even my silver beats like to pull, you know what I mean? It's everything. It's leather, it's filled with down. So it's actually warm. Anyway, okay, this Columbia sweater. Uh, like this is what I'm gonna like. I'm kind of mad that I like this so much. I know I'm gonna wear this honestly on Monday, like with any of my knee length skirts, like first of all, the gray cargo, like knee length skirt I have with this done up, cinched, 10 out of 10, obsessed. I feel like this is an item I know I will wear and that's why I was able to justify it. If it was oversized, I wouldn't have gotten it because I honestly just wouldn't have worn it, but it fits perfectly. This Adidas jacket, you're actually, and this was the first thing that I found that was like, oh. this find had me shook, okay? For obvious reasons. Um, I've never seen a collar like this. The detailing up here, it's actually a joke, okay? You're a real one. You know, I just purchased this, okay? And honestly, they do give totally different vibes. <laughs> I'm gonna just justify this and it's not gonna make sense to anyone else. But anyway, I had to get it. Are you kidding me? My thoughts are so frazzled. My thrift haul, like a major thrift haul of everything I've gotten in the last, I don't even know at this point, like two months is so long overdue. Um, but during that video, I'll be way more calm and collected. Right now I'm starving, I'm thirsty, I need to pee, my phone's dying, but I need to show you guys these finds, okay? Last two things. I don't know what possessed me to go to the belt section today because as you guys know, I never do. But this fat farm belt is fully intact. Not one gem is missing. Like, are you fucked? Amazing. $9.99, kind of insane, but anyway. And then this belt is almost just as good as the fat farm one because you guys know this is my color palette where like I will be wearing beige every single day of the year. But anyway, this, like you're kidding. The way that it folds over, 
it's almost offensive. I can't wait to integrate belts into my outfits because it's been a minute since I've had a cute belt that's worth adding. You know what I mean? Like if you don't have a good belt, why are you putting it in your outfit? Like you're distracting from your outfit. Anyway, I'm gonna end the haul here because those are all the items I got and I need to go eat and to go pee and to go drink some water, calm down. But thank you so much for watching this come up with me. The way that I'm so excited to immediately edit this and share all these fun with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you for watching. Love you guys so much. See you in my next video.